right, so that's fine. Now, what I want to show you now is something really spectacular. If you're scared to do this, and I could understand how you'd feel, don't do it. Okay, so do what I've done there, and that would fine, leave it. But look at the other side. Look how soft that is compared to that. Now, I'm going to show you how I did that over here. But that took quite a long time, so this isn't going to take very long because I've already started it. Can you see the difference between there and there? What it is, it, cat's fur is so fine that you wouldn't believe. And you can't really replicate it. You, got, you have to create the impression. So what I've done here is I've used a little bit of polychromos. Right? And what I've done is I've put the polychromos... As I said, folks, this is scary because for one thing, you're going to see me pick up some of the colour of the year as well. Wow. Now, already you can see it's like a smudgy effect, isn't it? Okay. Now, we use the colour shaper. And this is where it gets tricky. Now, I'm going to move, turn it round because I've got to pull away from this with my action. This is where it gets scary. Look, see what I picked up? Now you can take that off and continue, but you've got to do it every time because otherwise you'll bring it back into it. Now I don't mind doing that and I'm, in a moment I'm going to actually show you how you can, you can do that. But at the moment all I'm trying to do is just create a smooth edge. You can see, if you played this back again, you would see the difference between what I've done here and what I did earlier. And you could do this a couple of times. You don't have to, I mean, I'd probably give it another application. But the idea is to show you now, this is where you right onto that dark area I'm going now, look. And of course it's picking up more dark. And when I'm happy that I've got, there's one little area there now that has really just got almost individual hairs, which I don't want. I just want the effect. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Let me turn it around for you and you can see. See? Now we've got a different effect altogether. Now let me now show you how we can actually use that black that I'm taking off of there for another effect. Okay, we can start here and we come in and we come in there. Now this time, look, you see, I'm picking some of that colour up. Let's do it again. See? Look. This is scary. When you first do it, you think, oh, in the picture but you haven't folks if you if you're brave you can do it so you can pick those ends up create the effect you want and you bring them back in but what you do here you see you use that as a little bit of shading really successfully now can't see any now can you go on magic. But what we've got left is that effect that I wanted up there.